How's it going guys? Big C6 here today doing a video. Today's video I got on here because I wanted to talk about one thing. WWE 2K14. Now, on to the basics. We already seen the whole roster. The roster reveal. You know, the thing on Monday Night Raw and all that other shit. Um, we seen the trailer on Monday Night Raw about... You know, Hulk Hogan ripping off his shirt, and it shows Goldberg coming out of the rock locker room and stuff like that. Which, to me, you know, it looks great. It really does. It looks great. My question is, what else are we going to see in the game? Tomorrow, they're supposed to announce the um, universe mode. Uh, things that are in the universe mode and stuff. I'm hoping this year they made something great out of it. I mean, I love universe mode anyway, don't get me wrong, but there's just so much more I feel as if they could do with it, you know, every year, and I just, I don't, I didn't see THQ trying to work on anything, like, the only thing THQ really did was made it, made the same game almost different time, like, different times, they, like all the Smackdown games, most of them was the same thing. And then when it came to WWE 12, they changed stuff. WWE 13 was almost just like 12. Now there are a lot of people saying that 14 is going to be just like 13. No, it's not. I have a feeling that 13 or 14 is going to be an awesome game. Um, I look at things like this. If you look on the roster on WWE.2K.com, you'll see the full roster. Each day they have been posting up. There's a thing on here called um, View Bios. If you click on that, it will take you into the bio of the wrestler. And then on the side, on the right-hand side, it will have Entrance and Finisher, which I love. Same thing they did last year, THQ did, with WWE 13. Um, this year's roster, we have AJ Lee, Oksana, Alberto Del Rio, Andre the Giant, Antonio Cesaro, Batista... Big Show, uh, Big John Stud, Big Show Retro, um, Bret Hart, Bla Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar Retro, Brodus Clay, Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho Retro, Christian, CM Punk, Cody Rhodes with the mustache, Damian Sandow, Daniel Bryan, Darren Young, David Otunga, which hasn't been seen on TV in God knows how long, Dean Ambrose, Diesel, Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre, Eddie Guerrero, which I don't know why they didn't add him in the first place. Edge, Goldberg, which really surprised me, um, Heath Slater, Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, Jack Swagger, JBL, Jinder Mahal, Retro John Cena, John Cena, Justin Gabriel, Caitlin Kane, Kane Retro, King Kong Bundy, Kofi Kingston, Layla, Lita, Mark Henry, Mick Foley, Mr. McMahon, Natalia. Um, R-Truth, Macho Man, Randy Savage, Randy Orton, Razor Ramon, Rey Mysterio, Ric Flair, Ric Flair, Retro. Woo! Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> Ricky Steamboat, Roman Reigns, which surprised me because I didn't really think S.H.I.E.L.D. would have, I didn't really think S.H.I.E.L.D. made it. Ryback, Santino Morella, Seth Rollins, Sergeant Slaughter, Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels, Retro. Sheamus, Sin Cara, Stephanie McMahon, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ted DiBiase, Tensai, The Miz, The Great Khali, The Rock, The Rock Retro, Titus O'Neil, Triple H, Triple H Retro, Ultimate Warrior, Undertaker, Undertaker, American Badass. For those of you who don't understand, the American Badass is not on the original game. You had to get the Phenom Edition in order to get the American Badass Undertaker, which I've seen the entrance form and it looks really good. We got Undertaker Retro, Wade Barrett. Y uh, Yokozuna, Zack Ryder. Now the ones for right now whose bios you can view is Zack Ryder, American Badass Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior, The Rock, Sin Cara, um, John Cena, which his entrance looks badass, JBL, Edge, Big Show Retro, Big John Stud, and that's it so far. 
Um, yesterday's announcement was JBL and Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder looks pretty good. JBL looks pretty good. Um, we have confirmed now the Internet Championship. Zack Ryder comes out with it in his entrance. And we also have confirmed the Undisputed Championship, which JBL comes out with it in his entrance. The Yellow Intercontinental Championship, the Ultimate Warrior comes out with it in his entrance. And... Uh, the World Heavyweight Championship is confirmed because we've seen a picture of Batista wearing the belt uh, during his entrance, which I think, you know, if we got a close-up of it and stuff, better, it look, you know, we could, that'd be awesome to see. Um, to me, this year, I think this game's going to be awesome. I pre-ordered it. I love the WWE games. To me, they're more... It's better than television because the, anymore the WWE tapings, WWE recordings, like WWE period is just falling apart in my eyes. This PG era bullcrap is just it's stupid. This year we got the 30 years of WrestleMania mode, which goes all the way back from I think WrestleMania 1 all the way up to WrestleMania 29. Why they called it the 30 years of WrestleMania, I don't know. Unless they plan on adding WrestleMania 30 down the line eventually. Um... Because it goes from WrestleMania 1 all the way to WrestleMania 29. I think they should have called it the 29 years of WrestleMania, but whatever. Uh, I think they're going to more than likely add WrestleMania 30 via DLC. Uh, we ha we do not know the DLC for this year. I know a lot of the guys that were DLC last year are now in the game this year. Like, for example, Antonio Cesaro, um, AJ Lee, um... Who else was... The Usos were last year. Why they did not make the cut this year, I don't know. Damian Sandow was DLC last year. He's in the game this year. Um, I'm trying to think of who else was DLC. Drew McIntyre was DLC. He's also in the game this year. Um, Who else? Um, Let me see. I know there's a few. Natalia was DLC. She's in the game this year. AJ Lee's in the game, Ryback's in the game, um, you know, anybody DLC from last year is in the game this year, I know, um, The Rock is in there twice, last year they had superstars that were in there three times, there's normal Triple H and then Triple H Retro, Triple H Retro is the one with the long hair, and then you got Triple H Now of the Now Day era with the short hair. So, in a way, that's a good thing. We got Stephanie McMahon, who looks like her older model in the picture. But I don't know. We got Shawn Michaels and Shawn Michaels Retro. You know, a lot of the things, like last year, there was a lot of DLC. I'm hoping they do the same thing this year. Because last year's DLC was really good. Um, I got, I think, all the DLC they came out with. I don't know, but I got what they call Fan Access Pack. And I will get that this year as well. Um... 2K is putting a lot on the table for this game. You know, THQ started it. And what THQ did not finish, 2K picked up on and drug it. And look what we're coming at today. Yeah, the graphics look better than 13s, if you want my opinion. They look better. If you look at it the right way, they do look better. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about that I think looks better on here are... You know, the entrances, they got everything right down pat, you know what I'm saying? Like, right down to the nitty-gritty. Uh, the titles look amazing, the wrestlers look amazing. John Cena's WrestleMania 23 entrance, where he came out of that Mustang, that's on here. That looks sick. Um, I guess they got Goldberg's entrance on here, which really surprised me because... They usually they didn't haven't had any game yet where he comes out with out of the locker room entrance where he just came out where he just came out. Um, to me, that is awesome. Uh, because they have not had that in any game yet. The Shield, their entrance is in the game. You also seen on Monday Night Raw and on SmackDown now where the Shield is beating the hell out of somebody. I think it was Daniel Bryan with a chair. So I'm hoping that the Shields got their little attacks where they come out on their own and they just attack people. Now that would be some shit. That'd be pretty cool. Um, we have we don't really know what other belts are going to be confirmed yet. I tweeted to Corey Ledesma on Twitter asking him if we're going to have Create a Belt back this year. I really liked Create a Belt when it was out. 
for the old wrestling games, um, last year's belt editor, it just sucked. They only gave you like three custom belts to mess with. They should have just let you completely customize them. To me, it was okay, but when you can only change just a strap and then the color of the plates, that's stupid. Why don't they just chalk that whole idea out or better it, make it better, put the whole creative belt aspect right back on there again? Because in my eyes, a WWE game is about the creations. The creations. There's a thing on there, um, the achievement list for 2K14, it says something about a WWE superstar, like create a superstar, uh, Let me see if I can find it real quick here. Achievements right here. Um about a like creating a superstar and giving him, him giving him a superstar him or her a superstar head. To me that's awesome because that means that you can give him the superstar's heads again. So in my eyes, I think that's a good thing. Um They got the Stone Cold entrance on here with the glass breaks and he comes out. I think that's a good thing. They added that right here. I'll read them off to you. There's a, quite a few of them. Um, history is created. WWE Universe cash in Money in the Bank. And when using a custom superstar single player, it's only 15G. Mr. Money in the Bank. WWE Universe win Money in the Bank using a custom superstar single player. That's 30G. A once in a lifetime event. Uh, WWE Universe complete a WrestleMania match using a custom superstar single player. That's 40G. A superstar is born. WWE Universe win a match using a custom superstar single player. Anybody can do that. That's 15G. Comeback successfully perform a comeback move single player. That's 20G. A lot of these they took from last year, which to me is kind of laziness. You know what I'm saying? They could have just put new ones on here, which in my eyes is completely stupid, but it's whatever. Um... A winning combination, wake, use a wake-up taunt, land a finisher, and immediately pin your opponent, single player, uh, 20G, finishing, or fighting smart, attack the same body part using limb targeting 10 times in a single match, single player, that's 20G, reach the ropes, crawl to the ropes during a submission, uh, single player, that's 30G, nothing really big, oh my, Break an announce table with an OMG move. That's 20G. You know, that's the same one as last year. This is my yard. Play a match uh, in, in an arena created in... Wait a minute. Play a match in a an arena created and created an arena mode. Oh, okay. I think that was out here last year. Invisible Man. Or Invincible Man. Sorry, I'm so tired right now. Invincible Man. Win at least 20 matches on hard difficulty or higher in universe or play mode. Which, play mode must be like single player. That's 50G. A fresh beginning. Play an Xbox Live match. Blah, blah, blah. That, a lot of people, you know, they already know that one. A winner is you. Win 10 ranked matches. That's not hard to do. Um... Woo 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 create a custom superstar that is set up with a social account. That's pretty cool. That's different. One of a kind superstar right here. Create a custom superstar that uses a superstar head. That's awesome. Entrance designer. Create a custom entrance that includes a prop. That must be different. Um, if you guys actually watch the video, you see the Miz come out with his uh, awesome in the background. So I'm hoping to have that in there this year. Um, it says, Legend Killer, defeat the streak, defeat Undertaker, rest in peace, unlock all the WrestleMania match photos, and defeat the streak. The Dead Man, defend the streak, defeat 10 superstars in a single match. The Demon of Death Valley, defend the streak, defeat 30 superstars in a single match. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that you can actually do that. I'm hoping they put that on here. That's actual game. Uh, complete a complete chapter one in 30 years of WrestleMania, Daddy. which is, it says Hulkamania runs wild. A new generation complete chapter two in 30 years of WrestleMania. Complete chapter three in 30 years of WrestleMania. 
which is the, the Attitude Era, and then you got the Ruthless Aggression Era, which is Complete Chapter 4, Universe Era, which is Chapter 5, and then WrestleMania Complete, all historical objects in 30 years of WrestleMania, um, Sudden Death, 30 years of WrestleMania, uh, WrestleMania 12, Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels reached the lim time limit within, with no winner, um, but he still didn't give up. 30 years of WrestleMania complete all of the hidden objectives in WrestleMania 13. Final Impact, 30 years of WrestleMania, WrestleMania 17, The Rock vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin hit a circulating damage rock with a chair. Huh. When or the big red monster eliminate eleven opponents in the same soup with the same superstar in a single Royal Rumble match, single player. And you gotta finish them. Perform a OMG shell shocked single player. Feed me more. Win at least fifty matches on hard difficulty or in universe or single player mode. And then you got Hall of Pain, defeat a total of 10 opponents by KO, and then excuse me, WWE Universe, um, establish a rivalry, and then you got the secret achievements. For those of you who want to go and look at the achievement list on WW2K14, it is on WW2K14 achievements, it's on Xbox 360... 360achievement.org and I'm hoping you guys like this video I will hopefully be coming back at you with another one I haven't done a video in a little bit so I figured I'd jump on here today and I'd do one um anyway this has been Big C6 signing out peace